Grassland, Wikipedia Audio Grasslands are areas where the vegetation is dominated by grasses, however, sedge and rush families can also be found along with variable proportions of legumes, like clover and other herbs. Grasslands occur naturally on all continents except Antarctica. Grasslands are found in most ecorgions of the Earth. For example, there are five terrestrial ecorgion classifications of the temperate grasslands, savannas, and shrublands biome, which is one of eight terrestrial ecozones of the Earth's surface. Grassland vegetation can vary in height from very short, as in chalk grassland, to quite tall, as in the case of North American tall grass prairie, South American grasslands and African savanna. Woody plants, shrubs, or trees may occur on some grasslands forming savannas, scrubby grassland or semi-wooded grassland, such as the African savannas or the Iberian dehesa. Vegetation As flowering plants and trees, grasses grow in great concentrations in climates where annual rainfall ranges between 500 and 900 mm. The root systems of perennial grasses and forbs form complex mats that hold the soil in place. Graminoids are among the most versatile life forms. They became widespread toward the end of the Cretaceous period, and fossilized dinosaur feces have been found containing phytoliths of a variety of grasses that include grasses that are related to modern rice and bamboo. Meadow, Steppe Savannah. The appearance of mountains in the western United States during the Miocene and Pliocene epochs, a period of some 25 million years, created a continental climate favorable to the evolution of grasslands. Existing forest biomes declined, and grasslands became much more widespread. Following the Pleistocene Ice Ages, Grasslands expanded in range in the hotter, drier climates, and began to become the dominant land feature worldwide. Grasslands often occur in areas with annual precipitation between 600 mm and 1,500 mm and average mean annual temperatures ranges from 5 and 20 degrees Celsius. However, some grasslands occur in colder and hotter climatic conditions. Grassland can exist in habitats that are frequently disturbed by grazing or fire, as such disturbance prevents the encroachment of woody species. Species richness is particularly high in grasslands of low soil fertility such as serpentine barrens and calcareous grasslands where woody encroachment is prevented as low nutrient levels in the soil may inhibit the growth of forest and shrub species. Grasslands dominated by unsown wild plant communities can be called either natural or semi-natural habitat. The majority of grasslands in temperate climates are semi-natural. Although their plant communities are natural, their maintenance depends upon anthropogenic activities such as low-intensity farming, which maintains these grasslands through grazing and cutting regimes. These grasslands contain many species of wild plants, including grasses, sedges, rushes, and herbs. Twenty-five or more species per square meter is not unusual. Chalk downlands in England can support over 40 species per square meter. In many parts of the world, few examples have escaped agricultural improvement. For example, original North American prairie grasslands or lowland wildflower meadows in the UK are now rare and their associated wild flora equally threatened. Associated with the wild plant diversity of the unimproved grasslands is usually a rich invertebrate fauna, there are also many species of birds that are grassland specialists, such as the snipe and the great bustard. Agriculturally improved grasslands, 
which dominate modern intensive agricultural landscapes, are usually poor in wild plant species due to the original diversity of plants having been destroyed by cultivation, the original wild plant communities having been replaced by sown monocultures of cultivated varieties of grasses and clovers, such as perennial ryegrass and white clover. In many parts of the world, unimproved grasslands are one of the most threatened types of habitat and a target for acquisition by wildlife conservation groups or for special grants to landowners who are encouraged to manage them appropriately. Grassland vegetation often remains dominant in a particular area usually due to grazing, cutting, or natural or man-made fires, all discouraging colonization by and survival of tree and shrub seedlings. Some of the world's largest expanses of grassland are found in the African savanna, and these are maintained by wild herbivores as well as by nomadic pastoralists and their cattle, sheep, or goats. Grasslands may occur naturally or as the result of human activity. Grasslands created and maintained by human activity are called anthropogenic grasslands. Hunting peoples around the world often set regular fires to maintain and extend grasslands, and prevent fire-intolerant trees and shrubs from taking hold. The tall grass prairies in the U.S. Midwest may have been extended eastward into Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio by human agency. Much grassland in northwest Europe developed after the Neolithic period when people gradually cleared the forest to create areas for raising their livestock. Formation Class V Terrestrial Herbaceous Communities A. Savannas and Related Grasslands B. Steppes and Related Grasslands C. Meadows, Pastures or Related Grasslands D. Sedge swamps and flushes, e. Herbaceous and half-woody salt swamps, f. Forb vegetation. The professional study of grasslands falls under the category of rangeland management, which focuses on ecosystem services associated with the grass-dominated arid and semi-arid rangelands of the world. Rangelands account for an estimated 70% of the Earth's landmass, thus, many cultures including those of the United States are indebted to the economics that the world's grasslands have to offer, from producing grazing animals, tourism, ecosystem services such as clean water and air, and energy extraction. Grassland Types by Shimper Tall Grass Prairie Short grass prairie, mixed grass prairie, shrub steppe, annual grassland, desert grassland, high mountain grassland. Evolution Grassland types by Ellenberg and Mueller d'Ambois. Grassland types by Laycock. These grasslands are classified with tropical and subtropical savannas and shrublands as the tropical and subtropical grasslands, savannas, and shrublands biome. Notable tropical and subtropical grasslands include the Llanos grasslands of South America. Mid-latitude grasslands, including the prairie and Pacific grasslands of North America, the Pampas of Argentina, Brazil and Uruguay, calcareous downland, and the steppes of Europe. They are classified with temperate savannas and shrublands as the temperate grasslands, savannas, and shrublands biome. Temperate grasslands are the home to many large herbivores, such as bison, gazelles, zebras, rhinoceroses, and wild horses. Carnivores like lions, wolves, and cheetahs and leopards are also found in temperate grasslands. Other animals of this region include, deer, prairie dogs, mice, jackrabbits, skunks, coyotes, snakes, fox, owls, badgers, blackbirds, grasshoppers, meadowlarks, sparrows, quails 
hawks and hyenas. Grasslands that are flooded seasonally or year-round, like the Everglades of Florida, the Pantanal of Brazil, Bolivia and Paraguay or the Esteros del Ibera in Argentina, are classified with flooded savannas as the flooded grasslands and savannas biome and occur mostly in the tropics and subtropics. Water meadows are grasslands that are deliberately flooded for short periods. High-altitude grasslands located on high mountain ranges around the world, like the Paramo of the Andes Mountains. They are part of the montane grasslands and shrublands biome and also constitute tundra. Climates Biodiversity and Conservation Similar to montane grasslands, polar arctic tundra can have grasses, but high soil moisture means that few tundras are grass-dominated today. However, during the Pleistocene Ice Ages, a polar grassland known as steppe tundra occupied large areas of the northern hemisphere. These are in the tundra biome. Human Impact and Economic Importance Types of Grasslands Schimper Ellenberg and Mueller d'Ambois Laycock Also called desert grasslands, this is composed of sparse grassland ecorgeons located in the deserts and xeric shrublands biome. Mites, insect larvae, nematodes, and earthworms inhabit deep soil, which can reach 6 meters underground in undisturbed grasslands on the richest soils of the world. These invertebrates, along with symbiotic fungi, extend the root systems, break apart hard soil, enrich it with urea and other natural fertilizers, trap minerals and water and promote growth. Some types of fungi make the plants more resistant to insect and microbial attacks. Grassland in all its forms supports a vast variety of mammals, reptiles, birds and insects. Typical large mammals include the blue wildebeest, American bison, giant anteater, and Prowalski's horse. Other While grasslands in general support diverse wildlife, given the lack of hiding places for predators, the African savanna regions support a much greater diversity in wildlife than do temperate grasslands. There is evidence for grassland being much the product of animal behavior and movement, some examples include migratory herds of antelope trampling vegetation and African bush elephants eating acacia saplings before the plant has a chance to grow into a mature tree. Tropical and Subtropical Temperate Flooded Montane Tundra prairies Desert and xeric Animals Temperate grasslands, savannas and shrublands e corjuns Tropical and subtropical grasslands, savannas and shrublands e corjuns <laughs>